Which is greater? 20 to the power 24 or 21 to the power 23? Oh, fantastic. Look, 24 or 23 are the exponents. So, by using which method? Of course, dividing. The division. How? We can let the left hand side divide the right hand side. So now, what can we get? That means 21 to the power of 23 divided by 20 to the power of 24. We got this guy. Then what shall we do? You see, 23, 24 are the exponents. Now we can write this 24 as 23 then plus 1, then 20 to the power of 24 can be written as 20 to the power of 23 then times 20. So that means our denominator can be written as 20 to the power of 23 then times 20. And our numerator is still 21 to the power of 23. Why shall we do this? Because then you can see here 23, here 23. Same exponent. And now, this 20 is going to jump out from the denominator, from the big denominator. And so that means they can bring this 21 to the power of 23 over 20 to the power of 23. And then times 1 over 20. Same exponent, 23, 23. So it is 21 over 20, and then all to the power of 23, then times 1 over 20. Very good. Then what shall we do? 21 over 20, it can be written as 1 plus 1 over 20. So here, in the bracket, it is 1 plus 1 over 20, then to the power of 23, times 1 over 20. Oh, look, here is 1 plus 1 over 20, here is 20. However, the exponent is 23. We have this form. We know that 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power of n, is equal to e. 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power of n. n tends to infinity. The result is e. What's the value of e? Approximately equal to 2.718281818. 2 90, and 45. Very easy to memorize. 2.7. Then 1828-1828. The section 1828 repeats. And then 45, 90, 45. By the way, if n is positive, the function 1 plus 1 over n, also part of n, is monotonically increasing. So that means for any positive n, it is smarter than. 3. The limit of this guy is equal to e. And e is 2.7 something. It is, of course, smarter than 3. So now, I can separate this one into 1 plus 1 over 20 to the power of 20, then times 1 plus 1 over 20 to the power of 3, and then times 1 over 20. So now, we know this guy is of course smaller than 3. I'm going to write this first. And then, we're going to do another thing. This one. The base is bigger than 1, and 1 over 20 is, of course, smaller than 1 over 3. 
So it is smaller than three times one plus one over three to the power of three. And our exponent is also positive. So this guy is smaller than one plus one over three all to the power of three. Then times one over twenty. So now we know this action has the same form as here. One plus one over n to the power of n, and n is three is of course positive. So it is also smaller than three. So what does it mean? It is of course smaller than three times, here is also smaller than three, then times one over twenty. In the end, it is nine over twenty. And nine over twenty is smaller than one. So this guy is smaller than one. So what does it mean if it is smaller than one? That means this guy is smaller than one. If this guy is smaller than one, then twenty one to the power twenty three is smaller than twenty to the power twenty four. So which is greater? Of course, our left hand side. Twenty to the power twenty four. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up for more interesting questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!